Yo, what's up, guys? It is your boy, Daryl, a.k.a. Bugs, your number one puck thrower inspecting divide. And guys, we finally have solo customs. So you know what that means? It's time to teach y'all how to puck throw inspect the divide. Let's go straight into it, starting off with Mill. Also, guys, this series is going to be more of how to use your pucks in inspect the divide. Not really just puck plays, because if it was just puck plays, it will be two puck plays on each side and that'll be the end of the video and that's kind of boring so i'm going to kind of teach you how to use your puck before the match starts during the match and ending match you know post plant and all that stuff and we're going to start on uh mill attacking side on a side i'm going to stutter a couple times because i ain't perfect so let's get into it so uh a tricky situation i like to play and a risky <laughs> situation i like to play is um a in the in the duck vents right here um i like to get my puck in this um location right here because one it's secretly so if you don't know when you throw your puck it actually makes no sound besides them watching the line and as you can see where the line trajectory is it's actually going around the um, over the box so they actually won't see the line unless like they're physically looking at the box or at the wall so um as long as you have you know your teammate you know protecting you shooting this way or like making sure nothing's here or you get you know yourself checking if nothing's here you know you want to make a quick play of throwing your puck um and i recommend using um, Mew or Pinnacle because a safe thing that I usually do is when I throw that puck around 1.5 seconds You know depending on what the character is because on Mew is like 1.5 or something is that that's when you want to throw your uh, Mew bot which will blind everyone it gets you in a safe location and usually someone will be right here you kill them and if not then you can safely know that okay i could safely you know walk around here and kill whoever is boxed they're not really expecting me to be in this location um and yeah now when it comes to post plant i want you not to be afraid to use your puck for example get your guy up here play different um off angles you know just you know have different angles on your opponent again as long as you have someone around here kind of protecting your lane right here you know this is a great off angle that people really won't expect you to be because like this is like a really high risk high reward situation you know it's like wait why would you be up here you know um another thing is that you can help also help your teammates um in case they you know call someone out you go like, oh, okay up here in the boxes oh, okay you know no one's really expecting you to be up here because you know the game is still brand new and etc same thing goes right here you know like i said this is all locations don't be afraid to you know have your pucks being thrown at certain locations that will throw um enemies off because off angles in this game are pretty strong because you know the first shot first accuracy and sadly that's all i have on a side guys yeah there's really not much on a sides besides that um you know besides you just doing um, pretty much like wild plays by just throwing your pucks in like behind boxes without them noticing but that's about it but those are two i feel like the most optimal and actual useful plays to do on a site um but yeah i'm gonna be going on the b site now there really isn't any great puck plays or puck throws to do going to be because pretty much you're throwing your character for death even if you blind them because there's just so many angles where multiple enemies could be it's not even worth it but i do have some spots for post plant which i usually like to plant right about here down. um because one it allows your enemies or not your enemies your friend or yourself to be out back here to watch bomb um a main thing i love to do is have my guy up here because again it's another off angle that people just really don't expect you to be at for example right here you know you have the nice angle of you know their, their spawn um you know you're protected from every other angle um another angle i also like to play is actually on top of this box for again they don't really expect you to be there so you can actually have one character up there one character here you know um that character dies no one's really gonna be like oh yeah there's gonna be a guy on this top of the box you know you let them walk past you know boom boom get some kills um and then the final spot um i like to be is right here is a good way to protect mid where you know without even being seen uh, by the time they see you they're pretty much dead you know you play angle right here you know, you know, if they go behind boxes, they come out, they walk out, they're dead. You know, you don't have to protect um, or peak mid ever because, you know, this head glitch right here and all that what? stuff. And that is about it for the attacking side. Now we're going to be going on the defense side, which has a lot more stuff that you can do. All right, now we're on the defense side, and we're going to go straight to A. So a great spot I like to be for A is have my character right here. Great angle to peak, you know, back and forth. Have your knife out, you know. You don't have to really use a gun to, like, fight them. It's more like, you know... Peak, um, peaker's advantage right there to get information um, another spot i like to be is actually on top of boxes if i'm playing on a you know sometimes my guy on a and again just an off angle you know again you don't even have to show yourself right here you can literally have your guy right here at the side where they have to fully walk out to where again they're not gonna expect you you're like whoa why is my why is my enemy you know on top of a box right here um for a side and i think that's about it i don't really use anything else when it comes to uh defense size when it comes to um a I guess you could do something like this. Um, not really that good besides, I guess, you know, watching them um, on top of um, ducks. But yeah, like I said, it's just more like, you know, it's, it's, it's just like off angles, good spots that people usually don't utilize in this game yet when it comes to using your puck and stuff. 
Now I'm going to show you mid. Um, you know, usually the wall is right here. But as soon as the wall is up right here, I like to position myself right here. So in case someone does come in this location, they can't see me. I like to throw my puck right here instantly. You know, make sure I protect both sides. You know, walking up. Um, you know, play aggressive mid. Have my guy up here. Throw my other guy up here. And now I have protection of mid. Because again, this game is very early, guys. No one's really expecting you to be up here, up in their spawn or up in their mid right away. Um, this also is a good area to clear out this right here. And you can also clear right here or even like... Um, specters right here and then when the wall goes down as you can see this is a great way to flank for a if you know they're going a again usually people just have their characters just chilling back here really not you know protecting themselves you know you could go for um free kills you know bam bam and if you want to be even sneakier you know literally go behind them you can do stuff like this well just throw your puck over and throw your puck over again make throwing your puck makes no sounds keep going and then bam, you're literally in um in their spawn behind them, killing them from a side. And they're like, wait, what? You you know whatever protection they had. Um, I forgot the abilities, but you know the abilities are supposed to be watching flank and stuff, and just you know didn't hear nothing. And bam, you get free quick kills. Now when it comes to B size, there's only two really good spots that I like to use. Is one here is kind of like where you put your secondary character to kind of watch and help out whatever teammates fully focusing on B. And then another location is for someone that's focused on B is having your guy up here and going up here. If you didn't know, you can walk up here. So you know, again, just another nice off angle shooting them. A nice off angle here, and yeah, just again another unutilized place. Um, right here is kind of good, not really, but you know, again, it just it just catches your opponents off guard. Um, it does work on, on hiding and stuff, as you can see. They can see you, you know, if I position my guy more like this, right? Yep, better. Then they can't see you. So, as long as you position your character correctly in locations like this, then they can't see you. Now, here's a post-plant puck play right here where you can just throw your puck literally right behind them, kind of in A. No one usually expects it. And again, I recommend playing Mew or Pinnacle to throw a flash to kind of, you know, throw them off. Um, you know, inside can't see you. Usually people are out here. They're focusing, you know, watching your angles here. So you usually get a free Spectre kill or, you know, people just hanging out around here. Now, another risky puck play. And when I say really risky, this one is super risky. So if your enemies are called or if your um, teammates are calling out B like they're 100% B, um, I highly recommend doing a play like this um, as, again, me or Pinnacle. I don't really recommend anybody else unless you're really confident. But again, you throw your puck, you time, you know, your your uh, stun or flash properly. And then you get over here and you get a free angle on everybody. You know, make sure your enemy, your teammates, I keep saying enemy, but your teammates are distracting them and stuff. And you are revealed, but again, they should be flashed. It gives you enough time to, you know, regain yourself and, you know, go for shots and here and there. And it's a really good spot um, for an aggressive team. And I think those are all the aggressive puck plays on mill that I think that are viable. You know, I, there's obviously way more, but I think those two are really like the strong suits um, for pushing out B at the beginning and then holding A or, you know, after post plant A uh, when it comes to puck playing. Hopefully I enjoyed this video and show interest in the series because I definitely would love to continue and show you all the puck plays and how to use your pucks on all the maps and, you know, more setups on all the characters and all that stuff and plays and strategies and all that. Because if that's something that I truly do want to see, then I would love to do it and continue with it. But that's it for the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything. Comment if there's some puck plays you think that I should have showed y'all or y'all think is very viable also that I should have put in this video. And if you do enjoy Spectre Divide videos, then hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find better.